Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Rise AI Time Tracker. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check all these so for just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you start using Rise here? Well, using Rise is fairly simple, but before we start using it, we need to basically set up a few things. So first, go to their official website here, which is going to be rise.io. And in here, what we need to do is we need to download the app. But before downloading, let's go and view the pricing first. Now, there are going to be different plans that you could get for Rise. So we have the annual billing here and monthly billing. Now, the annual and billing uh, plan here actually enables you to pay for your subscription. But in this case, it also gives you additional features if you're going to get the premium plan here. But also, if you just want to try it out first, you could go and use the free plan, which in this case, you don't have to pay for anything, which is something really cool. So let's go and click on get started on the free plan here. And let's go ahead and provide our email that we want to use for downloading the app. So let's go and enter our email here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the send me link option. And in here, what we need to do is we need to go to our email. So this might take a while, so just wait for Rise to send your email. So this is what it actually looks like. Let's go and click on it. And from here, let's go and click on download for Windows since we are using Windows. Now, it should start the download process. So let's, in this case, let's just wait for it to complete downloading. And let's go and start installing the app. And download is now complete. So at the top right of your screen, you want to click on the download or recent download history. Let's go open up the folder where we have the .exe file. Let's go and double click on it to start the installation and click on run. In this case, let's just wait for the installer to boot up here. Now, once it actually boots up, what we need to do is we need to click on get started. And from here, there are going to be some information that you might want to read. So let's go and read those and click on next. And also, it will give you information about data security encryption here. Click on next and next here in order for us to start using the app. In this case, there are going to be some of uh, the information that you might want to read here, but let's go and just proceed with the installation. Let's go and click on the start application. And now what we need to do is we need to sign in into our account. So you can use your email here directly, or you can use your Google account. Let's go and choose our Google account here. And it should boot up our browser. Let's go and choose our Google account. Click on continue to proceed. And it should redirect us back into Rise here. Let's go and click on open Rise. And as you can see, it's going to start uh, loading up Rise. Now, as you can see, this is what Rise looks like. So let's go and set up our account. Let's go and set our say our name here. Let's go and click on get started. So since we already have that correct here, click on next. And we want to go and choose our time zone. Also the time format here and the smart notifications if you want to turn this on. Now, if you have the idle detection, you can go and turn this on or off, and you have the meeting detection. So in this case, it allows you to integrate your calendar to help price detect when you are in a meeting if you want to. But for now, let's go and skip this one. And you also, if you want to view the user guide, you can go and click on open the user guide here. Let's go and click on X. Now from here, if you need assistance, by the way, you need to click on, you can click on the uh, chat box here to get assistance. Now you could also join to their Discord server if you want. Let's go and click on next here. Can add promo codes, skip referral codes, and also describe your job title here. So maybe I am a content creator. Also, if you want to uh, specify that you're a freelancer, you can go ahead and specify that and click on next. And uh, where did you hear from them? Let's just say that we heard this from YouTube. And from here, let's go and click on next. And in this case, we could go and start using the app. Let's go and click on start my free trial here to start using it. So in this case, what are the things that you could do here on the Rise app? So in this case, the first thing that we want to do is we want to discuss the homepage here, which in this case, the homepage actually gives you the option to start adding your activities. So currently the valid option or valid time here that you see on your screen this is what we just recently did. Now, by the way, uh, just giving you an idea here at the bottom left, you have your timer here. Now you can turn this on or off depending on your uh, preference. But in my case, I actually turned this off. So if you turn this off, you just need to click on the tracking button here to turn it on again. It's going, it's going to start tracking again. Now, in this case, it will start tracking your time here as you can see. So if you want, like for example, you want to change a specific pro, uh, item, like for example, uh, current activity here, as you can see, you can go and click on it. You can add a projects, clients, or task on it to specify what you actually did for that specific time. 
Now, in this case, uh, you could go ahead and backtrack as well. So if you press and hold on a specific time here and extend the time for it, as you can see, I'm going to add like 40 minutes into this one. I can like override time here. I can remove I the tile, view the details for it. So if you want to add like over uh, override the time here, you choose one of the category here. Like for example, I made some documenting here. Let's go and click on save. And from here, we just added a documenting activity which in this case actually uh, allows us to see our current activity, the project for it, if you've already set a project for it, so if you, uh, you could go and click on add project here and choose your project. So now, if you haven't added your project yet, I'll be showing you later on. And also, if you've added like, for, for your calendar here, as you can see, you can also add that in here. Now, in this case, uh, how do we start adding those projects, those tasks here? Well, in this case, at the left side here, we have the following options. So by the way, the other options here, settings here that you can access our features is uh, more on the um, insights or information. Since uh, Rise here is an app that allows you to uh, see how productive you are uh, throughout your task or your day here. So in this case, let's go to projects. Let's go and click on new project. Let's go and click on a new project. So by the way, you could either create a new client project or task. Let's go and create a new project since we want to create one. Let's go ahead and add a project name. So sample project is good. And from here, you could add a budget R's here, your keywords, uh, your client, if you have already have the client and if you want to add a task into it. Let's go and create our project here for now and let's go and start creating our client as well. So for our client, let's just say this is going to be a sample client. And from here, you can add your uh, other details like budget hours, keywords, and projects if you want to set this one. So you can just choose sample project as the uh, project for our client here. Click on create client. Now, we also want to create a task here. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on the drop down here. Let's go ahead and create task or new task. Let's just say there's going to be a sample task. And we want to actually add this to our project for sample project and create task. As you can see, we have our task, client, and project. Now, depending on how you want to utilize them, you could go to your homepage here later on. I'll be showing you. Now, if you want to see your timeline here, by the way, for your uh, projects. So in this case, uh, documenting is already in here since that, what, that's, that's the last thing that we did and set up. So you could go ahead and view your timeline by dragging through your timeline and see what you just did. As you can see right now, we have our productivity, entertainment, and rise and the following websites that we just visited, which is a great way for you to keep track how you are performing. Now, in this case, you could go to timer here and basically start uh, timing, uh, adding ti ti a timer on your on specific activities. Now, this is a great way for you to specify what you did. Like, for example, you could go and start focus or you could go ahead and start uh, a meeting or a break. So if you like, for example, you wanna basically uh, add like, for example, let's go and play, uh, click on start meeting here and you could go ahead and set the duration. Let's just say five minutes here and you can add like project tags on it. Like we have our project, you can add your client and also we wanna add our task. Let's go and click on start meeting here and it's going to start our timer. So in this case, you could go and proceed with your meeting here and basically add whatever information you can. So once you're done here, you could go ahead and extend this or end meeting if you want to. Let's go and click on end meeting as an example. And as you can see, we have documentation and meetings as well in our recent sessions. Now, when you go, put, go to goals here, this actually allows you to set your goals for yourself. So depending on what you want to uh, achieve. So in this case, you want to basically uh, set like one, if your goal is maximizing focus time, the hour work day, you could go and choose appropriate one here and set your goals in here. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and go to settings. Now, settings allows you to change a few things on your account. Like, for example, when you go to categories here, this actually allows you uh, what is, or in this case, uh, edit the categories you have. Like for example, break, we have the uh, option to add them to focus category, work category, as a detection enabled, or distraction blocker enabled. So yeah, so you can change a few things here depending on how you want them to interact. Now we also have deck data export here if you want to export your data. You can change your focus here, automatic focus detection. You have uh, all the settings here. So depending on what you want to change in your account or how you want uh, your account to uh, react to certain activities, this is where you, you'll be able to change them. Now, let's go and go back to home here. And maybe we want to go ahead and start another session. Now, let's go and click on start session at the bottom left here. 
and you could choose either focus, break, or meeting. Let's go and choose focus here. And you could add whatever option you want in duration for it. You could also use the advanced option. So you could use a specific category. So let's just say this for our um, learning. Let's go to our session. Let's go and add our uh, client and our project and our task. Now you could also set your goals here, describe that, and you could also add music if you want to. So you could use one of the following options. We have Lofi Beats, Jazz Lounge, so you could go and choose the appropriate one, but I wanna use Silence and click on Start Focus. Now in this case, it's going to start our focus here. You could do whatever you want, but yeah, you could go to settings as well if you want to uh, receive that notification when you are getting distracted. But in this case, just start working. Now if you wanna end this, you could go and click on End Focus at the bottom left here. And when we actually go back to uh, our, uh, so you go and click on next here. So it's just some session details if you want to view them. And yeah, so when we actually go back into our home here, it should show us our current activity. So we have our focus, which is around 36 minutes. Meetings is around less than one minute. And we have all the other things that we did. So if you want to see your all activities here and see how you perform, then you could go into uh, see them in here. But yeah. So if you want to view specifics or uh, analytics or uh, specific details, like for example, you have the following days, uh, your uh, focus score per day, uh, total focus, it gives you a really good idea on what how you're focusing. But yeah, so in this case, those are the basics on how to start using Riser, and that's about it. So uh, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.